Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is... No Contact, Mistakes. Now, this is video number 166. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe and hit like, as it really does help my channel out. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, just visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, going into no contact comes with a lot of questions that people have, and really everybody just wants to know that they're doing things right, they're getting the right source of information, they're doing it the right way, because the reason that people go into no contact in the first place is to win an X back. Now, because that is our mindset, we have a very negative mentality right now. We are afraid that we're going to lose them forever, so we're turning to the only things that we think will work. So in this video, I've outlined a couple of pitfalls and things to avoid when you're in no contact. So if you or somebody that you know is in no contact, please share this video with them. It's important, and we're going to outline what to do here. When you are in no contact. Number one, don't delete social media pictures. Why? Because when you delete social media pictures during a period of no contact, the other person gets a bad taste left in their mouth. They think that you are bitter and you are doing something out of anger or out of hurt, which only spreads more negativity during a time where we don't want your ex to think of you in a negative light. You guys just went through something negative and your ex probably doesn't want to be with you right now. So take it gracefully. Even if they're deleting social media pictures of you two together, that is no reason for you to act in turn. You're the bigger one here, and you're the one that's not going to give in to emotions that are temporary. Number two is, don't talk shit about your ex to mutual friends. It will get back to them. Don't talk shit about them to anybody who is connected to them. Because people love to gossip, and no matter how much they tell you that they won't, Chances are, they will. I've seen this one thing completely destroy so many situations where reconciliation was previously possible. Look, I know that you have some emotions right now. I know you're angry at your ex. You're upset with them. You are afraid. You're not sure how it's going to work out. And maybe you're even really, really angry at them that they left you. But talking shit to people who might go and tell your ex, or might even just let it slip, because it could just be a mistake and they didn't mean to, no matter how much they promise you. You should not trust that whatever you tell a mutual person in contact with your ex will stay between you and the person you told it to. There are plenty of people that you can tell. You can tell me, you can tell your counselor, you can tell your best friend, you can tell your mom. Just don't tell mutual friends. It's not going to help, and don't try and gain information about your ex from mutual friends. Because guess what? Your ex will hear that you've been asking about them. Number three, don't post depressing, sad social media, Snapchats, Instagram stories, YouTube videos, whatever. Don't do it. There's no reason for it. You're not six years old. Don't do it. It's going to make things go from bad to worse. And the thing that you're probably thinking about in your mind is, I'll use the old heartstrings, right? I'll get them to think that I am really sad and they will in turn think about how that makes them sad, and in turn they'll think about how they want to get back with me because I'm making them feel sad, that must mean they still want me, right? No. They're going to think, this person makes me sad whenever I'm around them. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be near this person. Number four, and this one goes without saying, but just in case somebody was misinformed, do not try jealousy. Don't use jealousy. Jealousy will blow up in your face like, 100% of the time. Do not get another person. Do not post pictures with them. I'm not talking about going out with friends and hanging out and having a good time. I'm talking about intentionally posting a member of the opposite sex, or if it's the case, a member of the same sex, and try and make your ex jealous. I've coached thousands of people, and I've heard at least a handful of cases where people try jealousy, and it does not work. It's manipulative. It's not why we're here. We are not here to manipulate our ex. We are here to become better versions of ourselves. Okay. Number five. Trying the 7, 30, or 45, 90 day, whatever, no contact rule. No contact is for the majority of you, not every situation, but the majority, indefinite. No contact forever. 
Why? Because your ex walked out of your life. It's going to take them to walk back into your life. Why? Why can't I reach out? What's the big deal, right? I want them back. How are they going to want me back if I'm never there talking to them? Because your ex, for 90% of the cases that I've listened to, left the scene because you wanted them more than they wanted you. It was their idea to walk away, and you're trying to force your idea onto them to get back together. They don't want the situation that you want right now. A difference of ideas and values is exactly why they left in the first place. So after 30 days of you not contacting them and then reaching out and saying, oh, remember that one time we went to the carnival and I got soda all over me? Ha ha, how funny was that? That's not going to suddenly fix the problems why they left. That's gambling on the chance that they might miss you enough to come back. And in that case, they were probably going to reach out anyway. Which brings me to number six which is thinking that no contact is for your ex. It's not. No contact is not a weapon to win your ex back. Repeat it with me. No contact is not a weapon to win your ex back. It's not a manipulation tool. It is a tool, however, to allow you to improve yourself and to get back to a place where you can act attractively again to naturally increase the chance of winning your ex back And if they don't come back, because maybe it's never their idea ever again, well then you can meet somebody even better, because you're an even more attractive version of yourself, and you expect even better, because you've raised the bar. No contact is not a tool to get your ex back. It's a tool to get you back. It's have a healthy relationship with yourself to have a healthy relationship with others, not the other way around. And the last one for this video is going to be number seven, cyber-stalking your ex. People, I'm begging you, get the hell off of Instagram for a little while, because you guys are using social media to drive you crazy. It's not helping. It's inciting all of your worst fears. You're taking all of these pictures and making them mean something, likes on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever it might be, and you're making it mean something that it does not mean. Get off social media for a little while. Take a break. Your ex isn't going anywhere. Facebook's not going anywhere. I implore you, do things that are healthy for your mental health. Being a secret agent and cyber-stalking your ex is not good for your mental health. And it's not good for your chances of getting them back. So, ask yourself what you really want. Do you want to know what your ex is up to? Or do you want to have the best possible chance of winning them and yourself back? That's all I have for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. I'm very excited to announce that my book will be coming out at the end of this month, July 31st. And so if you're interested in that, I'll keep you guys posted on my videos. And additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week and private live streams with me, just visit my Patreon. Patreon.com slash TheLoveChat. The latest episode over there was something a little different. We talked about what to do if you're dreaming about your ex, and that's kind of screwing up your day while you're awake. So, hope everybody has a good day. I'll catch you tomorrow. Until next time.